All right, in this video, we are going to take a look at five NeoVim telescope extensions that I use every day. I love them. I don't know how I ever lived my life before them. And we will walk through and I'll show you a little bit about them and then you can give them a try. You can check out the list of extensions here in the telescope repo. You can see here at the top, we have sorters. And if we go down, we'll see different plugins with telescope integration. And some of those will be in my list. And then you have extensions that offer telescope integration for another plugin. We will start with telescope FCF native. It really helps to be able to use the FCF syntax. Let's take a quick look at that. So if I go in here and I just search for Joel, you see when I got to there, you can see it's fuzzy and you see the Joel's up on the top, but you also see the J and the O in JSON. And so now what we'll do is we'll say, no, we want an exact match. So you see how you get that there. All right, next up is this underrated plugin and I use Brave and all this does is reads through your local bookmarks and makes them available in Telescope. And when you pick one out, it opens it in the browser. So let's take a look at that. Let's see, what can I open here? Well, we can go back and have some memories about Vim Git Gutter. You see how nice that is? Opens it in Brave. And now, <laughs> one of the things that it will also help you do is once you start using it, you'll see that, hey, maybe I should organize my browser bookmarks a little better and, you know, maybe put some better names and things to search for. And I had some <laughs> .NET 2.0 and SharePoint 2003 stuff in there. And so when you're searching, that all comes up and just clouds the result. Now, I use Zoxide, and this is one of those fancy replacements for CD on the command line. And it keeps track of the different directories that you go to and tries to take you to where it thinks you want to go. And it works pretty well. And so Zoxide has this extension that takes your Zoxide list that gets built and makes it available in Telescope. And then you can go through and open up your pickers in context for the directory that you choose. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I go here to leader Z, you can see, hey, look at that. Look how much time I spend in my NeoVim config. And then you have some work stuff and things like that. So what I can do here is we'll just search for dark, which will take me to my code smell dark repo. What has happened here is that Zoxide has changed my working directory. So now when I open up the find files picker, you'll see I am in the context of that repo. And when I open the file, I am in that repo. So I'm relative to these particular files. One of the main use cases for that is, hey, I want to go change my color scheme. And so I'll want to keep these Lua files open and I'll go and mess with the code smell dark color scheme. And then I can check things out as I source the files. But then when I'm done and I want to just be back in the working directory that I originally was working in, then I use fugitives GLCD and I just have a mapping for that. Uh, you can check that out in my dot files. This was Zoxide here. Obviously it requires Zoxide to be installed. So the next picker is Telescope Repo. With Telescope Repo, we get a little bit of redundancy with Zoxide in that it's opening up a bunch of folders or directories for you to choose from and gives you a little bit different experience when you choose one. So I'll show you what I mean there. So if I go into here, you'll see that all of my 
Git repos on my machine are loaded into this picker. And the author is using Glow to show the previews. And Glow is a markdown preview CLI. There is also a plugin for NeoVim. All this opens is Git repos. When I first saw this extension, I tried it and it wasn't picking up work trees. And all my feature branches are work trees. So that was a showstopper for me. I ended up just bringing down a local copy and making the changes to have it work for work trees for me and didn't use the upstream version from the author. I checked back a little while later and they had made the change for work trees. I thought it was appropriate then to dump my local version since I'm not contributing and use their upstream version. And the reason that you see this is that not everything has a markdown file for this to pick up. So it's smartly trying to find a readme file to use as a preview. But if there isn't one, well, <laughs> it doesn't uh, have anything to show you. So the difference here versus Zoxide is that if I select this, you see it immediately opens the find files picker. And of course, then there's only one file in there. If I pick it, you can see <laughs> it's an empty file actually. And I am not in the scope of the working directory for this repo that I picked. Now, of course, I could run my same GLCD and it would do what you saw with Zoxide, but I'm still in my config nvim. I could switch to this. And now I'm in the context of this and you can see that I'm in there. But then now when I go over here, I'm out of there, but I want to be in there. That's how that works. Now we have NeoClip. Let's jump to NeoClip and NeoClip is awesome. First of all, this readme is pretty funny because the author really spells out <laughs> in kind of a funny way what the problem is and what this is trying to solve. Okay, and so the main issue is that you probably don't use registers as well as you maybe could and you don't want to have to remember what's in what register but the main use case that is discussed here and that it's trying to solve is you yank something like this neoclip link and then you yank this key map and now you yank the import of the Zoxi extension. Now, if you were to then go ahead and paste right now, well, you get the last thing that's on your clipboard. Okay. And you know, that's no fun. You would have to go and explicitly save the different things that you're yanking. And you'd have to know kind of in advance, Hey, I'm going to want to paste this particular URL in a little bit. So I'm actually going to yank it into a register and then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to delete this, this, and then, okay, what register was it again? And you know, there's different ways to handle this. So let's take a look at NeoClip. Now you can see these are the last things that I yanked. Okay. Now let's say, okay, now I realize, Hey, look, I want to paste this neoclip comment that I yanked earlier. Well, of course, if I just paste, you can see that that's the telescope repo comment with the link, which is not what I want. So you have a couple things you can do. Say, okay, I want to paste the neoclip. I can just hit P and that'll paste the item that I was just on. So you can see here, if I want to paste this leader RL, you see, I get that. And let's say though, I don't want to paste it right now. And you can also do shift P to paste before. So you have P and shift P. And if you're in an insert mode, you throw a control in front of those. But let's say that I want to now 
paste this load extension Zoxide. So what I'll do is I will pick this item by just hitting enter. Okay. But you see, it didn't get pasted, but now it's at the top of my Neo clip clipboard. So now if I'm sitting out here and I say P, I get it. And that's really great. And so if I go in here and I say, okay, well now I want this to be the next thing I paste. And there it is. Super handy. You can select what register you want to use. I'm using the unnamed plus and on Mac that takes up the plus and the star. So it's different on Linux and you can set it to whatever you want. But the reason that I like that is because if well, let's find one we haven't used yet. Space B. Okay. And so we'll yank that and I'm going to want space B, but there's leader Z and leader RL. But remember, I want space B. Okay, so there's space B there, not selecting it. I want to now make space B the item that gets pasted when I go back to the system by default. So without having to go into Alfred, if I go back out and I need to paste into a text box or something like that, I want it to be space B, not the last thing I selected. So I want space B at the top. So if I go in here, I select space B, but I'm not pasting it. So if I were to paste this out in the system, that's what it would be. And I don't mean select it from Alfred to paste it. I mean, if I just did command V out in the system, this is what would be on the clipboard. And so you can move things around and I uh, use the unnamed plus system clipboard so that I can have that interaction. I can decide what thing I want from NeoVim to be the thing that gets pasted out in the system from a command V. Now, those are the five that I use the most and that I really don't know how I live my life before them. Now, let's talk really quickly about some honorable mentions. So we have Telescope GitHub here, and you can see that I'm using this, but I have a local version of it. And that is because it hasn't been updated in a while, and the GitHub CLI has a lot more functionality. And so I have a local copy, and I've added some of my own little hacks in there to get a little bit more out of the extension. I could, you know, submit a pull request and update this extension if the author, you know, would allow it. You can see their last update was in August and hey, you know, this is open source and people aren't getting paid and so you can't expect things to be always up to date. The other reason might be that this Octo has maybe more market share when it comes to integrating with the GitHub CLI. Now, I tried Octo when it first came out and I thought, okay, this is pretty cool, but you know, it still needed some work. It was, you know, really raw, but it seemed like a really cool idea. And then I tried it again recently and it had definitely been filled out. It's very cool. The feature set is so amazing. I mean, the authors put so much work into this. I ran into some issues, but it does so much. And so I kept it and I thought, okay, well, I'll use it in a limited capacity because it's pretty cool to do reactions on issues and things right from NeoVim. Very cool. But, you know, I hit some issues with it. Some things were not getting updated. You know, you're supposed to be able to just save the buffer and that will update the issue and it wouldn't always happen and I couldn't really rely on it. So it could have been me setting it up wrong. Then you have all the key maps and you can see here that React Hooray, and that's got its own map. Everything has its own map, which is necessary for this type of GitHub API client. All very cool, but all a bit too much for me personally. You know, definitely check it out because maybe you can use it for some things and not for other things. And I really want to use it, but I get what I need out of Fugitive and out of this extension here. And then if I really need to go into GitHub, I have Vimium and GitHub's added this nice command palette. 
All right, let's review the extensions that we've talked about. NVIM NeoClip, definitely check this out. It's a game changer. Repo, very useful, straightforward. Zoxide, it's nice to have your Zoxide calculated directories showing and easy to pick from so you can get around easily. Bookmarks for your browser bookmarks. This might be my favorite, so simple, so useful. If it's Brave, your bookmarks are in a JSON file, so Depending on the browser that you set, in my case, Brave, it goes out and reads this JSON file with all of your bookmarks in it and makes it into this really nice picker. And if you wanted to go out and spend some time and remember NVIM Compi, you could. It's just, you know, I love it. <laughs> and so that is the five telescope extensions that I use the most. Now, I have not tried all of these, and so I'm not saying that these are the five best. My dot files are always up to date with the Bleeding Edge NeoVim version right off the master branch. You can see I'm on NVIM 07.0 and that particular commit. As a software engineer, you should be building from source, but it does take a little extra work to keep up with breaking changes and things like that. So you have to be a pretty big NeoVim fan. I really appreciate you watching. We'll see you again next time with more fantastic content and please like and subscribe. Consider clicking the join button below to check out some of the perks of membership where I will review or even help you with your dot files and Rust related things. Also offering honest one-on-one -on -one career advice via direct message. Super cheap, check it out by clicking the join button and it doesn't charge you anything when you click the button, it just shows you the options and it's really great. I'll help you, you'll be helping me. It's a wonderful thing. So I appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time.